Damn, but ain't Jose Cuervo though. Nah, hell nah. I'm not better than Jose. Yes, it is. <laughs> 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 it's a whole lot better. Sure. Hey, I don't care. At this age of my life, I'm judging people by the alcohol you drink. Straight up. Yeah, because if you pulling up drinking bottom shelf alcohol, you probably shouldn't be here. They all bottom shelf though. Nah, it's it's some different. It's some levels. Nah, the non- unnamed brand ones be the real liquor. My <laughs> family told me. My new family told me. The real tequilas. Damn. It's not the one. Oh. Tapped in? Yeah, I'm, I'm tapped in. I'll uh, talk to so you about it later. Now. Look, so. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> disrespecting the lineage. Hey, hey. I love the Spanish game. <laughs> Which one? Because <laughs> you can't group them all together. That's disrespect. No, oh, man. They're one, bro. Oh, okay. Now you speak for them. Great. Yeah. They are all one. What nah, I'm saying is, no, they not. Trust <laughs> See, me. See, look. All <laughs> they work Gary, East Chicago or Chicago is the same. No, it's not. Nah. That's disrespectful. See, That's look. Disrespectful. Disrespecting the guests. Chicago and Gary low key are the same. Oh, no. Nah, shout out to the guests. 319 and 313. Ain't 3 that 313? It's 3 3 Detroit, 3 3 ain't it? 312. I'm sorry. Oh, I was like, thinking about the ludicrous song. <laughs> Chicago got like eight area codes, though. 708-773-312. You shouted the area code out like R. Kelly did in that song. <laughs> I, I ain't shout nothing with R. Kelly. Wild. Allegations. Nah, tequila though, that's probably, I think you can get away with any tequila. Like, uh, nah, yeah, you, bro. Like bro said, for real, if you go to Total Wine, be putting me on, for real. All just facts, they, they do. tell you like, Shout to Total Wine. this goddamn Classe Azul is really, this shit right here is $30. And they give you the education behind it. That's a fact. We just don't fuck with it because the bottle be ugly to the motherfucker. <laughs> That's and a it's fact. It's really the best shit. I mean, if we're going to keep it a bean, everybody buy bottles at the club and we be knowing that they be remixing what's in there because that Hennessy be tasting like E&J. Yeah, Nine well, times out of ten. you still bringing out the Hennessy with the sparklers, you out of pocket. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> right. And listen, uh, judge me. $520 off the hen dog. Shout out to T. The, the host it was only like two this. bottles though, so I realized that everybody wasn't trying to have a Hennessy night. T so can't try to drink 1800 in that motherfucker. Nah, fuck I did. <laughs> low, 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 low key I did. It was close. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna shout out who I had them drinking, but shout out to I used to watch wrestling the Rock as far. But <laughs> oh yeah, Terramana. Yeah. Damn. That, yeah, that's you, heavy. Well, that's you're not out of pocket for, but I don't know. It just depends on the palate, bro. I don't know. Sign me rock. I sign up with you. Hey, yo. <laughs> no. Sign course. me rock was crazy. <laughs> sign me. Like, what do you mean? I ain't say. All right, man. See, I told yeah, you. He reach it. Yeah, he reach it. I said, sign me. Like, I'm Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah you reach it, bro. Arms long as hell. Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Oh, that's straight. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. And like that, we that back. Stretch Armstrong is my day. Man, I'm out. Anyways, <laughs> we back. Wow, that's I ain't episode. say stretch four. <laughs> I oh, like DJ. Stop, stop stretching. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> now DJ try to put a limit on the thrust. Hey, yo. <laughs> right. Yeah, out of pocket. See, this is why we number six on complex list because we gonna grow up and stop saying pause. You the one mad about it. <laughs> hey, we can talk about it. No, uh, man, oh, shout out to I'm Complex. To be oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we back in another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. We started off this episode because Mike is yelling at me. Shout out to number six, no Bill Russell. <laughs> we got a special guest with us to the left, but we're going to introduce my boy last to my left. Resident Chef Bishop Greenleaf, Young Henny with the glasses. How you what? Hello, guys. I'm just coming to work. You about to get fired. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Anytime niggas say I'm just coming to work, niggas don't like coming to work. No, nah, I do. I enjoy this. I <laughs> fuck with y'all. Y'all got my nigga on the show tonight, so what's up? Out the gate to my right, Young Nacho, Young T. How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. Another show. Let's get this shit done, man. Let's get to work, man. Steven, they told you you know better. How you feel about that? <laughs> that shit was kind of funny, though. <laughs> that nigga talked to you like he was talk to me like he knew me for real. Like, he was... Nah, but shout out to him, man. It was all love. I got what he was trying to say, though. Shout out to Steven A. We're going to talk about him a little bit later. But to my left, man, we got a special guest in the building. My dog. Love to see this homie's progress. He's going crazy in the city right now. If you're from Nap and you don't know Mike G, then you out of fucking pocket. But my dog, appreciate you put up the 520, my boy. I appreciate y'all having me, for real. I don't even know really how to describe what you do, because you do every fucking thing, man. Just tell the people how you would out here. As you see on the table, you know what I'm saying? This is the wine made by this gentleman right here. You don't know too many black people with wine, let alone a black entrepreneur with the wine. Just tell the people what you do, man. So in short, like, uh, I try to tell people it's like a tree with branches. So like if I'm the tree, clothing brand, wine, 
uh, food blogger. I'm kind of phasing out of that shit. Space too crowded. Damn. Too many people trying to do the same thing. Um, Y'all be for events, Keith Lee. And then I work with Hang Time too. So do a lot of different shit. And then, you know, that shit just got different branches that come off the tree too. So I stay pretty busy. Man, I know your background because you know what I'm saying? We've been around each other for like a decade plus. That's my Straight dog. Up. I love to see the grind. But like you talking about the food space. I feel like you one of the pioneers in the flu blocking area. If we're going to keep it a bean, like you was kind of the first people I seen go crazy with like the actual showing up to the restaurant, getting behind the kitchen. I just posting shit like, yeah, how is, how is it like that to see the evolution of that shit now? Because everybody go crazy with the hashtags now. No, nah, yeah, it's crazy now. And like, I can't even keep up like between TikTok, Reels, everything. Like when I was doing it, it was really like, you know, I was showing and I felt like young black people like different stuff to do in the city and different places. So. I mean, when I was I was really doing it, but I was standing on business. So I was like making sure I was getting paid to do shit. So I was getting flew out to different places just to like go to food and hotels and different shit like that. And now what I see is like people just want attention and they don't stand on business. So like that's why for me, it's time to like phase out of the space mm. right now, because don't nobody really care about the money. They just want to be famous. I'm like, I'd rather have the money, not be famous, <laughs> but it's just, you know, kind of how the shit playing out. And that's real, because like you said, it's such a crazy industry now. Like, being you can attest to this, like, you got to have that marketing. We obviously know what the fuck it means to have marketing, but you cook for a living. But now everything is just like the homie at home making our Alfredo going crazy with the angles. Like, how do you compete with shit like that? I mean, I, it ain't really even competing. Bro space is just crowded because people don't know what the fuck they doing. Mm. My space, it's, it's crowded, but... Those people just tend, like I used to always say, motherfuckers selling plates at home and they saw, see us doing it, then they do their shit for two weeks and then shit ain't the same. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. gonna support the first time, but then it just it just fizzle out after that. Only the strong survive and that type shit. Yeah. Bro yeah. shit, they kinda trying to water what he doing down. Like yeah. he took that shit for real, made it a profession, show, like showing people like, hey, you can come here. I know it's more than what I'm saying, but I'm saying like Niggas just going to restaurants saying, "Hey, come pull up on such and such like a wallow nah. commercial," and it ain't the same. But like, he give you actual experiences when he goes sit down and to these restaurants. So I see where he's coming from for sure. Now that shit's fire because, like, even like you said, like obviously we're gonna talk about the clothing and shit in a short minute. But like, just the evolution space of how everybody uses social media to like market the things they got going on, yeah. and like you hitting all the algorithms. Obviously, you got the wine, so you an entrepreneur. You got the clothing line. And just knowing what you know about the food and dining experience, that's all the shit that goes crazy now on social media. And like everybody's kind of crowded that lane, but you still got to stay relevant. Like you look at like Keith Lee and shit. Keith Lee went crazy off sitting in his daughter's chair talking about food, like a fucking middle schooler. You know but what it's saying? all about and the shit yeah. that people want to see now. And I ain't got that in me. Like I ain't <laughs> even that sociable to like really be telling the story and tell you where the fuck I was at six years ago and now I'm doing this. And I'm, like it ain't. It was never about that to me. For me, it was always about like I was I was fortunate enough to experience things. And I'm like, damn, like this is cool, but like it ain't enough black people here. Like I ain't mm -hmm. I was comfortable in those spaces because of the shit I experienced. But when I'm in those positions, it's like I'd rather pause. <laughs> that oh. was crazy. <laughs> I'd rather I was gonna let you keep. <laughs> Uh, now nah, my family yeah, no you, pass you, you was cooking <laughs> you was cooking but I was, I was marking them down in my head you was cooking though I was like it was ahead. a review yeah, yeah I was like <laughs> but when I was when I was in them settings I was in there like mm. it needs to be more of us there and like the only way we could see it is like we got to show each other so you know I'll be at restaurants and I'm posting that I'm there and people would be like damn where you at and then they actually go try it and that's what made me really like take shit to another level like all right I know that I didn't send 10 people here because they all didn't DM me, but like, how I'm finna get a check? Cause like, I know you made at least like yeah. a thousand off these 10 people. So like, how can I get paid from this? And that's what really changed my mindset. But now, like I say, it's watered down. You got people that's like, oh, I come for free. I just want to eat for free. And it's like, I'm cool. I could pay for a meal. Like I ain't that pressed just to get no content. What was the first place that you went to and then was like, yo, I'm a, I'm a ask them to pay me to be here. Like, Mm, that I can't say I remember the first place that I asked to get paid, but the first place that made me be like, I could make this shit a business is I went to um Cafe Patatru 
it was like a New Year's one year, and I went to the one on 49th and Penn, and I was like, it's just a whole different experience. The food good, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really feel comfortable in here. But if it was more of us in here, it would be like a cool little vibe. Just mm-hmm. on like, let me just stop by there on Saturday, get brunch Sunday. It ain't got to be turned up or nothing, but it's just good food. And if you with the right people, you know, that's why they say break bread. Like when you break mm-hmm. bread with people, like you fuck with them for the most part. So, uh, yeah, Patachu, I would say is one of the places that really inspired me to Hey, I, more shit. I knew something was up. I seen that first show. So my time on way too much. I was like, oh, my nigga Mike tapped in. Oh yeah, right now we tap. We we all the way <laughs> tapped in. Like we uh, yeah. I ain't I ain't I ain't paid for Patty True in a while. Talk about it. Hey, my dog, you are honorary nap nigga. I understand. I know where you're from. You from the two one nine. You know what I'm saying, East Chicago. But you are honorary nap nigga. But we gotta talk about it. You know what I'm saying. Y'all got each one. Yeah, young Jeffrey, y'all had a y'all had a nice little, you know what I'm saying, high school battle. But he came to nap and sat out that time in Hinkle. I yeah, was shitty his, about that. He hurt his ankle. That's my dog. Though. He's one of my dog. Shout hey. out to East One. If I had anybody that I was probably the coolest with, besides out of people I like, was my teammates. East One probably one of the coolest. He comes to the gym every summer and play pick up with us. He always come back home. He live in Orlando now, but every time he step back in the city, man, he tap in with us. So that's my dog. But. East Chicago's nasty. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's really what. No, nasty no disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> no, I'm just talking shit. No, it nah. really is. Nah, I, I, I agree. Nah, it's I, always good people out of there, though. I swear, everybody I ever met from East Chicago. It's too. like being from there is crazy because I don't feel like it's, and I could be wrong, but I don't really feel like it's nowhere else in the world because the shit really so small, like it's crazy, like. If you meet somebody new, like they probably somebody that's in your family, a part that's of your crazy. family, that's related crazy. to somebody else that this person know, like it's really like a small community and it's like five communities within that one small community. So Sorry. it's like a real neighborhood, which is different than like how kids grow up now, especially without kids really being outside and doing different shit. Like we was really 30 deep outside every day, like in the summer after school doing different shit. So they probably got the best high school, Jill. The gym really is crazy. Cold, bro. Yeah, Better it's it's cold. They never got an arena in that motherfucker. Yeah, it's cold. You would yeah. ever think of East Chicago or produce some shit like that. We don't <laughs> even got nothing like that here. That motherfucker low key look like Hankel. No, nah, that gym is yeah, I stupid. Say. I saw the All South the for it. The shit we was going through there. It was Newcastle. Good times growing up. Oh, yeah, Newcastle's crazy. But Newcastle, them like Hoosiers. Like, they don't it really. feel old in there. It do. Yeah. yeah. It feel old. It feel like MCO. The Richmond gym. They say Richmond gym crazy. Ain't I ain't never crazy. been there either. Shout out to Richmond, but I'm not sliding. Respect to Destin Bain, but that is not a move that I'm making at all. I don't know why he is making that face towards you right now, but that looks absolutely crazy. We have to get a camera from Mike. I'm looking at it too like I'm his son. Like, <laughs> that, I'm, look, I'm, when, I, when we do the shows, I'll be everywhere, so don't mind me. But how'd you get into wine? Like, because I see a lot of people in the spaces that's in the wine space. A lot of my friends that play in the NBA, they got wines and they... I'm like, ah, I never drank wine. It gave me a headache. And I was just wondering, like, what made you get into the wine space? So, I mean, I was drinking wine a little bit before it happened. But, like I say, with the food blog and shit, I was always looking at it like, how can I monetize this shit? Like, Mm -hmm. I'm cool with people knowing me, but how can I make some money? So, uh, when the pandemic hit, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I ain't worried about getting paid. I'm going to work with local businesses. Like, what y'all need? Let's do a collaboration and we can get people to come out. So I worked with this coffee shop downtown called Commissary. And then in like two weeks, so like 500 lattes. And I'm like, I didn't think I had the influence to really like drive people to a place and really spend a bag like that. Even though coffee is four, five, six dollars. It ain't yeah. much. But it was still like an eye-opening thing. And then um, I worked with Daniel's Vineyard on like a little promo thing because, you know, during the pandemic, people couldn't get toilet paper and shit. <laughs> so they was like, they had like a $50 pack. You get like all this wine and they was giving you a full pack of toilet paper. And I'm like, that's kind of cool. And I think that'll you know, blow my social media up too about like helping people. So we did that. And then um, they seen the impact from it. And they was like, you know, what if you made like a sangria and did like a dinner event or something? I'm like, you know what? It's time to use my leverage. I just sold 500 lattes, did all this other stuff. I'm like, I ain't working with y'all unless I get my own wine. And then they was like, We'll come back and talk with you. So mm. like six, seven months went by and they hit me up like, you still want to do that? Because my shit just kept elevating. And then I'm like, 
Yeah. So we just went through the process. And like I said, I was drinking wine a little bit. I knew a little bit about it. And I'm still not like no wine expert. Yeah, yeah. But I seen it as an opportunity to like not do beer, not do a liquor. I feel like wine is one of those things that's elegant that most people, even if you don't drink it, it's like you'll go to an event and be like, yeah, I'll take a glass of wine. Yeah, yeah. But like if you don't drink tequila, you don't drink yak, you don't drink beer, you're like, I ain't drinking that. Mm-hmm. But with wine, it's just one of those things that I feel like can't connect people the older mm-hmm. that you get. So it was just organic. Um, when we first did it, we made like 600 bottles. They sold out the red joint days. in the front. And then after that, it was just like, you know, how can we take this partnership and relationship and really just make a business model with it? So, you know, now we selling thousands of bottles a month and about to be in liquor stores soon. So what liquor store are you about to be in? Man, my goal is uh Total Wine, just because hey. it's a national brand. You know, like mm-hmm. um, I've had Total connections wine. with people that are like Crown, <clears throat> Community Spirit, shit like that. But you know, that's real regional. That's Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. But Total Wine is something that like they support local people everywhere throughout the country. But if I could really do some shit that's at Total Wine in different places around the country where I know p- people everywhere, it could really be crazy. Hey, shout out to the wine drinkers, because we're going to keep you the bean. Some of us start off on that call us Rossi. Oh, yeah, we all did. I Man, don't even know what that is. Oh, uh, you ain't fuck with the Rossi? I ain't, y'all know I ain't drink. Yeah. And when I started drinking, it was, I was already up. It was luxury. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, it was for real. real. It's just real you was never a bottom shelf nigga. <laughs> I was never a, a, a bottom shelf type of guy. You know what I mean? When I started, was, it was. I mean, you were still a dirty nigga, but just <laughs> what? With a, with a, with I started a, with a off. Be- Belvedere was the worst I got. Oh, the Belvedere? The Belvedere. That's my first drink ever was Belvedere. Yeah. What was your first drink ever? Wild Irish Rose. What was your first drink ever? Uh, Bumpy Face. Um, oh, you niggas is nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Bumpy Bro- Face. I had Everclear and Dean's Blue drink. I was he at a high school die. party. Everclear for you the first drink? Die. Crazy. <laughs> you drug rubbing alcohol. Yeah, damn, Stifler. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Bro, I was at a function. They treated me like the five heartbeats. I said, damn, why is my heart beating? I just Yeah, I swear to God. Like, what? I had Grey Goose, too. I had Grey Goose. That was one of my first. Grey Goose was lit, though. Grey Goose yeah, that was, was my first real lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was my first real lit. It was really better wine. than Belvedere, but it was, uh, my old head drunk Belvedere, so I just felt like. Yeah. It was rap music. Rap music has influenced alcohol so much because some of the shit the niggas be That's rapping true. about, don't be fire, bro. Grey Goose was cool, but they should not have been rapping about Grey Goose as much as it they were. It wasn't nothing else better then. And we uneducated, bro. We was yeah. drinking vodka. Whatever, Niggas dude. didn't Hold really on, start drinking tequila until another rapper made tequila cool. Tequila or... only been cool about three years, right around mm, the pandemic, nah. right before. Nah, my nah, I guess I might look. Nah, nah. 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 People... Eighteen hundred poured me a shot, and Patron been going crazy yeah, for a for long a time. Long time. That's I remember true, but Patron. I feel like a lot of people was like not 18. on tequila. Nah, oh seven Patron really. Patron like came Patron out. Like, was it, crazy. it stepped up. Oh seven. What's better, Patron or Hennessy? Patron me. Woo! Give, me, give me Hennessy, bro. Out Patron. the gate, hen yeah. dog. Nah, Patron. I did dangerous things. Patron, like Patron, Patron wash away your sins, bro. <laughs> your sins still here. <laughs> Patron, I don't drink Patron no more. Nah, Hennessy. <laughs> did you stop sending? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know why I don't like Hennessy. That next morning off that Hennessy, boy. Yeah, good yeah, luck. Bro. Be a Sunday after club. Man, five good luck, boy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, good luck. That Hennessy, boy, do you bad? It was a man. nigga rolling down this nigga driveway this weekend oh, for what he told hey, me. What he was, <laughs> I swear to God, no. the Hennessy. I don't know what he was on. He was on something new. He was that off is, that Jose. That's a, crazy, that's a crazy pick, though. Hennessy or Patron. Yeah, Patron, y'all tripping. Yeah, nah, he, got, he had some it. of that Earl Smith. <laughs> Never mind. They got, <laughs> they, <laughs> they got extra, wild. and you know they got extra Anejo Patron now, and it's pretty good. I had yeah, some of his. Why you said Red Box? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You said Light like Spence. Man, he yeah. looked like hey, Spence rolling down about driveway. All I want to say is in the group chat, I said who was gonna win this fight. Yeah. I tried to save you. I don't know if you decided to I was bet Bud was my go to pick. I love Bud. I think he's the best fighter in the world besides Floyd Mayweather. He's still alive, so but uh, well he don't he ain't fighting no more. Man, he's still the go. If he wanted to beat somebody up, he could. I watch how he be toying with them people, bro, over there. I agree, ridiculous. but he can't go back. He can't go back in the ring I mean, with them. Fifty, yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that's now, wild, he, yeah, that's not even MJ with the Wizards no more. Yeah, it's yeah, like he don't got to. Nah, he, he don't, don't got nothing to prove. prove. But if he would have just kept, like five years ago, he could have still be. But yeah. I think that he get a lot of smut on his name because of stuff that ain't got to do with what he do in the ring. But 
from a athlete standpoint, yes, he's one of the greatest. I don't like that people don't like to talk about that. Absolutely. He right after Michael Jordan as the greatest athlete. Is he above Tiger? Yeah. Fuck no. Ooh, that's tough. tough. He man. never lost, bro. I don't In care, boxing. bro. Yeah. It's, yeah, that and it's just that him. Way, I respect Tiger as him, but Tiger ain't win every time. All right, bro. I'm Floyd won every time. Jordan, Deion Sanders, bro. What? How Deion? Oh, Deion? Deion. Better bro. athlete than foot, like a better bro, he play, athlete. He played all three sports. Bro. That's a fact. He, he did. He played two professionally, bro. That's ridiculous. I, they, I feel like they care about that basketball shit. I don't want to oh, hear about Deion. He really bro. killed back then, bro. Don't disrespect No, nah, I'm not saying he ain't a great athlete. I'm talking <laughs> Show about- Show me the footage, bro. Show me the footage. No, You're is, right. Deion Sanders is a great athlete, he but Floyd Mayweather is a top. He's he right after Jordan, bro. It just don't Deion get no Sanders better, bro. He never lost. He never it. lost, bro. I guess. I mean, I want to I believe y'all. Muhammad Ali- no, no, he ain't better than that. No, I'm Muhammad Ali. I know what you want. He looked, yeah, but <laughs> I know what you want. <laughs> I'm saying, Muhammad Ali went through that bobblehead experience, so Floyd Mayweather could pick it up. Like, bro, this is what not to do. But I'm talking about like pure, just pure, could do everything. Bro, it's Dion. Well, you're talking about just pure athleticism. It's going to be yeah. Bo Jackson and Deion Sanders because they both play two professional sports. Yeah, but I'm talking oh, about so with cool. accolades what and they what did. they did in their <laughs> primary sport. Uh, Bo is so cat. Why you don't fuck with Bo? Bo shoes is hard, but it's that. Cause what, it's, bro, he was an all star, like, all pro and all star. Bo, bro, but it just Dion was real life. Bo, Bo Jackson was a better baseball player than Deion Sanders. I don't that know. Is a fact. He never went that far. What do you mean? He did. What? He never went that far, bro. To and where what? to get all the accolades, bro? Deion Sanders. He was an all star World Series. He wasn't that, he Not wasn't that the deal like that. He was good baseball. He him, was bro. a quality baseball player, but he <laughs> wasn't him, like Bo, Bo Jackson, Jackson. went to the MLB to be spiteful. <laughs> yeah. And he was still elite. Yeah. And he was like really good. Shout out to Bo Jackson, I guess, bro. Damn, yeah. we got to, well, Dion got to play slam ball too? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, all right, we know you like Coach Prime. Damn. <laughs> You Say you want to go to Colorado. <laughs> Shit. I, I do. Damn, Bobby, okay. Sign him up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Pac-12. <laughs> I'm a real Nike athlete, nigga. <laughs> That's why we number six, man. All all right, so number <laughs> let me ask you that. So who you got? So you said Mike, the number one athlete all the time. For sure, Michael Jordan. And then it's Floyd Mayweather. No. Oh, who you got? You got Prime. I got Jordan, Prime, Brian. Ooh. That's crazy. All over Floyd. Yeah, Man. shout out to Floyd though. Nah, hell of a guy. I, I feel like Despite Floyd and Tiger don't get enough respect. But if I had to pick between the two, I'm probably going Tiger because it's hard to win every fucking time in golf. It's hard to win every time in boxing. Man, yeah, I but say, I gotta say Floyd just off the strength of to your point. Like, yeah, and I'm you just, won every like you every didn't lose. time, and you like, it's you only you. And it's I only you. Ever, ever that's how y'all be judging niggas too. Just the overall person, bro. Hey, look. I'm not the smut judging. they put on Tiger for getting a little bit of side pussy was crazy, bro. You would have thought Tiger <laughs> a little killed somebody. Side pussy. My hey, boy was is, getting it in. About? Tiger, he hey. wasn't taking no days bro, off. Hey, Tiger hey. Woods in them DMs like DJ. <laughs> Tiger telling them girls all the crazy Whoa. ass shit. He wasn't taking no days off. <laughs> wow, take. I thought about hey, hey day. I had moments. Tiger was going crazy. Hey, he, had, he had the side piece on the home voicemail, not the cell phone. He yeah. called the home voicemail. Yeah. Say, hey, this is Tiger. Y'all niggas used to be DM warriors, bro. No, hey, that's one of my names. Nah, I never was. A, I was our DM. Oh, what the fuck is wrong? That is wild. <laughs> Tiger in you. The influence. Man. The influence. No, 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 I'm nothing. No. I can't relate. <laughs> nah, no. yeah, it's definitely Mike and Floyd. When I think about it, I'm gonna have to. I ain't mad at two way two B being Tiger Floyd. I ain't mad going either way, but I feel like both of them don't get it. They respect that. I dessert, messed bro. with Floyd because he was like, because he was he was him all all the way through. Like Tiger, he, he weird. He he was black at first. Then I ain't want to be Michael black. Jackson in like, yeah. yeah, he was a little camouflage. And then he got in trouble. Now I was like, what's up, y'all? I, that's crazy. You get in trouble for hitting hoes. <laughs> well, he, he was married. Wild. That's crazy. I mean, that, that, but they was hating. Called, it ain't called adultery. I mean, but for Nike to drop, <laughs> look at him. Just be it's like, called yeah, adultery. So <laughs> what? <laughs> <with> you, right? <laughs> hey, <laughs> what the fuck? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares about adultery like that in the sports world, bro. Seriously, no. I don't. Don't listen. For, I'm not listen. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in relationship. <laughs> no, but nobody. Hey, is a <laughs> no. No, what I'm saying is, I'm not condoning cheating. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you literally are. No, I'm but. not. <laughs> no, it's okay to get let, a little pussy on the no, side. No, let me. <laughs> no, exactly. Listen. <laughs> what, what I'm saying no, is exactly. this. No, no, no. no. I'm saying, 
They killed Tiger Woods like he was touching kids. Bro, bro he did nothing wrong. He bro. did they nothing did. wrong. He got caught cheating. Shout out to his wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sorry, bitch. But he did not <laughs> have to go through all that. He was the biggest athlete in the world, bro. bro. I could see if he was doing something illegal like that. They killed his That's whole true. career. Bro, shout out to Wale, bro. Like how Tiger Woods getting in the same type of trouble, nigga, is R. Kelly. And and let's talk about he it. He ain't go to jail, bro. No, but I'm saying right. they removed everything from him, though, bro. He couldn't do shit. I mean, he didn't his, whole, no his whole his whole being was like presenting a family man, loving. Yeah. He had this great image. Like Floyd yeah. was always Floyd. So whatever that's Floyd lot, do, you kind of expect it. Like no, yeah. that, that's a Floyd walk around with ten girlfriends. So it is what it is. And yeah. also with Tiger, too, like you said, he definitely did not embrace his heritage at all. So he was already walking on eggshells trying to please all these white people. So as soon as that happened, they were like, <gasps> country Cubs was nothing on him. Yeah. He lost his <laughs> dick. Like, bro, Tiger didn't do shit, bro. No, R. Kelly, he, did. I didn't like he that. definitely did it. So nah, yeah, like, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I like, don't even know how R. Kelly and Tiger got the I'm same. I'm saying but, they tried to kill his career. But if we keep him the real, Yeah, too, you should have said more like... Uh, who, Bill Cosby? I don't know. Oh, nah, it's all. I mean, nah, for real, they you be going career. to like rape, rape. Yeah. No, like. no, bro, I'm not. See, y'all talking about their allegations. Get out their business. I'm saying they careers, bro. I'm Niggas saying, had like, to stop doing Tiger Woods, stop playing golf, bro, because he cheated on his wife. Yeah. But you know what's crazy, too? Yeah. And not, not even to resurface that much, but like even the Kobe era shit. Before there was a verdict or oh. any of that shit, bro, they went straight. <laughs> not for real, bro. They stripped Kobe no, every day. Kobe was out of pocket. He was, bro, but he had to hoop. <laughs> yeah. If they, we didn't get was, 07 Black Mamba, bro, them deals probably would not have came back so quick, bro. Just, but Tiger took time off between that shit and it fucked it up. Uh, well, Anything Floyd did, he kept fighting. So know, it didn't matter. Kobe yeah. needed a timeout, bro. Touche. Yeah, to go. I, I, I yeah, no what about the companies that like be on bullshit? Like when that shit happened with Tiger, Nike dropped them. Exactly. And then, and then a year later, it's like, Got the new Tiger Woods shoe. We got the golf balls. We uh, got this. Mike G, the new the new Yeezys is about to drop tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. We back. They said we they gotta just recoup. Got, just gotta take a little time off. Yeah. yeah. They gotta let shit Silas simmer down. That's the best answer. Hey, anytime nah. shit gets crazy, get little. Like I when, think I, mean, I think winning and like killing is the best answer. Like, I don't like talking about Kobe because I, I got so much respect for him. But when that yeah. happened and he started killing, it was like, yeah. It didn't matter. Yeah, it's like. People started kind of siding like I know, like to me, I don't I, never mind. But like people like, man, fuck all that. He a killer. Like yeah. I know nah, yeah. whatever but, happened happened. So just being like, great. Yeah. But we like, talked about that with Jado. We was just like, when that shit happened with Jado, we was just like, lock, lock in, in, kill. Go kill. We wouldn't be talking about this. If no. he would have killed the rest of the year that postseason, would have said there probably wouldn't even have been a crazy yeah. suspension if we keep nah. it real. If they don't lose first round, if they go further out, he goes to the Western Conference Finals. Probably maybe a five ten game. He would have went to the finals. They wasn't suspended shit. You that's either got to go kill or shut the fuck up. There's yeah, no. That's in why I think Kobe had the best rebrand. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Like, His rebrand was amazing. Amazing, the bro. Rebrand ever, bro. So it was yeah. and it was and it was him though. It wasn't them trying to reach and make some persona. Right. He's like, no, nah, y'all don't fuck with me. Cool, because a lot of people be forgetting. I know as much as he's loved now, but when Kobe was still playing. It was not that much love for Kobe. Nah, people facts. love slighting Kobe. Nah, and people forget facts, that bro. shit the last couple of years. Y'all yeah. wasn't wearing Kobe. Y'all all talk crazy about Kobe. Thank I knew you Kobe for Kobe. finally saying that shit. Dude. Nah, people didn't love him. R.I.P. Like to Kobe for sure. Out the but gate. That is absolutely Y'all liars. Right, bro. All these fake ass Kobe fans, bro. That's bullshit. Bro. I ain't going to say people in L.A. love Kobe. No, nah, facts, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's man. the only place I know people. people. Yeah. yeah. But I had Twitter. Who didn't. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw it. Y'all niggas is cap. It's a lot of people cap. People used to call him fake MJ and shit like that. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of bullshit that niggas used to put mm -hmm. on his name. But, you know, actually, when you stop playing, like, even shit, bro, look at you. Like, uh, many people is on the fucking Twitter streets going crazy. Like, I didn't know this dude talk. I didn't know he had so much person. I'm like, yeah, but because he was fucking at work. How many people go to work and show who they are? I don't like my coworkers. I don't want y'all to know how I what outside of work. This is just work. Outside of this, if you know me, you know me. It's up. <laughs> yeah. You, you know ain't supposed him, to know me. Up. Yeah, that's the fact. gate. That's a fact. Since I'm an honorary nap nigga. Yeah, out the gate. <laughs> out the gate. Oh, uh, Mike, you've you been in the trenches too long, my dog. Out the gate. You, you got through us every area code. You yeah, good. your party. Don't, but I'm lying. And the parties you throw are already too legendary. Come on, I got people. Some days. Man, come on. People be calling me like, I know you in that motherfucker. I was like, I ain't been, man. I, ain't get a I can't get a ticket. Yeah, it be sold out. He coming to the next one. Who? J Mix. 
Ah, yeah. Shout to Jay Mix. I've been locked in Jay Mix about that game. Jay Mix everywhere. <laughs> hey, he been Boy, everywhere he since he on the way. Yeah, <laughs> swear to God, since I was sixteen, bro, he been everywhere. He go to every. All right, so we we gotta talk about it. You know, what I'm saying since we was on first take this week, you know, Jeff got scolded by Stephen A. We ain't gonna talk about that that conversation because apparently y'all I love y'all some fucking hey, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne might be the most loved athlete. In the history of basketball, D. D Way Hive, crazy man. What worse than Beyonce? But you know what? <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say why I think it went up when he got out the league and he, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that shoulder <laughs> means. Please elaborate. <laughs> yeah, no, because me and Jeff was trying. I was telling him like, oh, yeah, no, nah, Dwayne Wade. No, I'm saying no, Dwayne Wade. Talking. Not the way Jeff said. Dwayne Wade got the biggest fan base. So. Yeah, he do. But yeah. now I'm thinking about you, right, bro? Over yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to the alphabet. <laughs> Which one? The one you made up? No, nah, not the real one. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> what you call it? The Scrabble letters. <laughs> Shout out to Monopoly Go. <laughs> hey, why did Stephen A. Smith get on Twitter <laughs> and ask for Kim Kardashian a prostitute? What? The Fuck is wrong with he him? He did that, bro. He. I thought that was a fake. Twitter. He has been on he a tear the last week. That's his real Twitter. No, he had it. Yeah. Oh, he got a real podcast. Where no, he no, I know crazy. he got a real podcast. Shout out to Pat Bev because Pat Bev reposted it. He was like, "Hey, fam, she's a family woman. You can't be asking this shit." And he took it down. And then I was like, "Okay, Stephen A. Really in sicko mode." And then when he popped back up. With the uh, response to Paul George podcast about Jack Hilarious, bro. He the said, podcast, but he said, you a B-list actor. I said, dang. <laughs> Steven, they acting like they about to, they ain't about to renew his contract. I yes, said, yeah. damn. He been letting he, the clip he, go. He have been acting like it's the beginning of the end. Oh, uh, yeah. I, but I, I fuck with Steven like A. Because he say whatever. Shit, I like so that. Like exactly. Yeah, I like that. Whatever, I like that. Yeah. Shout out to Steven A. Hey, shout out to Steven A. <laughs> Jeffrey T, you know better. <laughs> that nigga talked to you like he was your guy. He did speak to me like he... He knew me since I was ten. Y'all, y'all doing great things, <laughs> but you but, know, you know yeah. better. Which this point was valid about. It was, but play with. But I mean, it's all I mean, relative. respect. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> respect. Yeah, respect. Hey, right. shout out to ESPN because they over there getting the BBL dog. They switching that shit around. When I seen that they fired Mark Jackson and said we going with Doc Rivers, <laughs> I won't watch ESPN games. TNT. Anymore. Please get the contract. Yes. Go get Mark Jackson TNT. For sure. Listen, we've always said for years, ESPN had the better on-game broadcast and TNT had the best post-game. Yeah. If they get Mark Jackson to somehow and join- And Jeff Van Gundy? Please. Bro, that's the that's the elite combo. Oh, man. They better get the NBA contract by themselves. Boy. Straight TNT. Man. Straight TNT. Unless ESPN want to sign us, then, you know, say we'll swing I like favorite. ESPN. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> they be hey, they be having them niggas work overtime though. We gonna have to talk something about that. Man, I work overtime. I, I see Keyshawn Johnson deal. I will take it. But uh, Ness, yeah, shout I, out to Keyshawn hard. Johnson. Yeah, I take it. Nah, they took our debate ring with niggas running out of content for real. Summertime. That's mm-hmm. why these negotiations a little bit different. It was crazy. I don't know if y'all still in the basketball game, but me and Jamal Crawford used to have debates on the bench every day. What? Every time we played a game, whoever was playing, we would just make up a debate. So one year we had a debate when we played with the Hawks. Um. It was Joe Johnson versus Brandon Roy. And I thought about it and I wanted to ask y'all, like, in they prime, they high level, who was you taking, Brandon Roy or Joe Johnson? I'm biased, B Roy. Out of pocket. Give me my nigga from Arkansas, Joe Johnson. I was, I used to take Joe too, but Six, I was eight, I had 45. cold. But me and Jamal used to have this debate every time we played Portland. He like, who you taking? You know, he's from Seattle. Yeah. B Roy was his homie. I'm like, I got Joe. Nah, you tripping, bro. But Joe would kill every time. And I used to be like, bro, Joe different. But B Roy was nice, though. I think that Joe Johnson's probably one of the most underrated players. I mean, obviously, he got paid like he was as good as he fucking was because mm-hmm. he was like that. But I think that B Roy, I saw if he's one of the people that you say in the what ifs, because yeah. his stat line is crazy because yeah, he was making all star really teams play. in the West, bro. <laughs> nah, he, he was cold. That's tough. Not to admit, because I think Joe's fucking amazing. He's still cold. Yeah. I just think that B. Roy, if he was one of the people who didn't have that injury, it would have been different because we saw him in Minnesota, bro, and that wasn't the same B. Roy. Nah, not even. Not even close, but I seen him when he was in Portland, and me and Jamal used to debate that every time we played him, and I'm like, damn. I just think it's a good debate. Hopefully somebody pick it up and they uh, yeah. <laughs> I got one you know, for y'all, too, it. though. I got one for y'all. Who y'all think got a better career, Chris Paul or Russell Westbrook? Russell. Russell. 
You got MVP. That make a difference. That does? Yeah, you got MVP. To me, it do. <sighs> That's tough for me, man. I mean, we yeah, and we comparing two first ballot Hall of Famers here before y'all get weird. I know that shit y'all make y'all dick itch or whatever, but hey, yo, Russell Westbrook, <laughs> bro, <laughs> niggas, bro, they said Dwayne Wade. It, it was, oh my god, how dare you? I like, bro, chill your fucking panties, bro. It's, like, it's not they that act far like off. James Hart won ain't a first yeah, ballot like, Hall of Famer though. They was acting literally, like, disrespectful. they was like, acting like I said, like he don't have a. Fucking I was MVP. better than D Wade. When I was like, damn, nigga, I didn't say I was better than. It D-Way. don't matter. You said the wrong thing to them. Bro. I know. I was so like, they was gonna hit you with all. It was fuck you. Anyway. I did get some buckets on D Wade, but oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. About it. That's fair. <laughs> but I think I, out of the CP, Boy, did they see that, <laughs> nigga, you had eight points. <laughs> they about to, they about to pull that clip up so fast. <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey, just they gonna be on TikTok going crazy. It was crazy every time we played D Wade in Atlanta. He never played. <laughs> I swear to God, he missed every time. DMP, you man, know he went was. out. Hey, you know the way Wade's hosting that <laughs> didn't play the next year. Swear to God, he, he never. Was hosting. <laughs> oh, but now we, got, we like, would never get a Dwayne Wade interview on this podcast. We <laughs> saying that shit is going crazy. <laughs> If we don't sign a deal, dude, we gonna have HR. I need a shot. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that wine ain't going to do warehouse, Mike. And the A going crazy. The A going crazy, Mike. With those scribble letters. We ain't got time for teasing them tonight. <laughs> scribble letters. <laughs> Could you imagine getting those letters in scribble? You can't spell shit. You say he was pledging? How many points is worth? How many points is worth? If you get if you get the letters out the game, you won. <laughs> you should treat that shit like Jumanji. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even laughing, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I ain't laughing. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, we'll see how much of this we fucking keep. <laughs> no, we gotta put this. We gotta do like so. This guy go Patreon or something. <laughs> it took me a minute to catch on the Scrabble letters from earlier. That's why I just killed. <laughs> Had no idea. I'm like, what? you man, was far right for. I was like, fuck it, we here, man. Back to my nigga bike, man. How how did you discover to throw the parties like you do, man? Because they've been a talk of the town, man. With with everything that I do, I feel like this shit just been organic. So to be thousand percent transparent when the shit started with daniel's vineyard i made the um the white wine sharice named after my mother and um they had overproduced it so they was like we got like a a big keg of wine left like do you want to like just throw an event and just have people come out so they could try it you know and then buy bottles but they could try for free because we just made too much but you know no expense to you i'm like all right that's cool so this was like two years ago I just put a flyer up, just called it Sunday Fun Day because I'll be traveling. And I'm like, we ain't really got no Sunday Fun Day in that. Don't nobody mm-hmm. really do shit on Sundays, but all across the country, it'd yeah. be cracking on Sundays. Mm-hmm. So like 400 people showed up just like out of nowhere. One no tickets, one no nothing involved. So then I'm like, all right, let's 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 try to do it again. You know what I'm saying? Have a couple different uh, food trucks and stuff come out. Next time, about 700 people. And it's all free. So then after that, Business mindset turned on. Like, ain't gonna be free you know, too long. I got to charge because I need security. I need to hire sheriffs. I need like more employees to be here. And it just happened organically. I think like people just, that's the benefit of social media. Like people just sharing it and people being like, no, nah, it's just a vibe. Just got a yeah. DJ out here and everything cool. Like the first one I had, um, AD, Ferris Bueller, the DJ. I just had hit him up, like, you know, I'm doing this event. It's going to be free. Like, I'll be listening to some of your mixes on SoundCloud. And I just, I'm going to just play one. I just want people to know in case you pull up. He like, all right, cool. He like, matter of fact, I'll just make a mix uh, for that day just to make it, like, cool. And I'll be there. I'm like, all right, bet. This shit was on a Sunday. He hit me up, like, Friday. Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. Can I just come DJ? I'm like, shit, bet. I ain't got no <laughs> budget, but bet. So he pulled up and then. Shit just grew organically from that and really just been, um, you know, trying to create that vibe for people in the city just to do some alternative to going to the club. Nah, it's 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 fire. I'm, te- I'm telling you, bro. I got people calling me because we promoted it on the show one day, right? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. B here and there cooking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Andre Owens called me. Like, it's the best shit that ever happened in that. Like, 
Damn, nigga, I do be having my parties. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> nah, it's different. Hey, now, <laughs> now look, now you should. <laughs> nah, yeah. really Mike G got you on the back. <laughs> yeah, he said, nah. I, I got to turn my shit up. Mike G took off. Nah, it's so crazy the fact that I be seeing grown women in stilettos, <laughs> facing balls and one. They be treated they like the yak. I say, oh yeah, my nigga got one. Nah, nah, that's fire. Though. The age is from like nigga, literally twenty one to fifty one. Legally, yeah, facts. Like, and legally. it's like it's a three hour event too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. One, black people don't go nowhere on time. That's a fact. Retweet. People be there early. Shout like, out to Mike. The, the first one this year, I'm like, <laughs> you was late today, my fuck. <laughs> Shade our camera man. You was late today, my fuck. <laughs> but the first one, it was like, it started at six. People was lined up at 530. I'm like, oh, shit, Damn. what's going on? Oh, geez, because like, parking is crazy. And if you know where it's at, it is not at the place where you want to park on the street. Yeah. You need to be there. That's my thing, bro. Get motherfuckers to drive to McCoursville. Now, yeah, I turned it up. They they had to have a uh, meeting with the city and everything. They can't really throw no big events until they get some stuff figured out. Damn, they got to create more parking spaces and everything. So, wow. I mean, it worked while it worked, but you yeah, know, just I feel to it like had people fuck with you though, like that though. Like do it like look at you like hit you in your like sometimes people come to my like events or whatever. I'd be like, damn. People pay attention like that. Or like even with the podcast that we have it and mm-hmm. people repost it and Should just fucking with it. Like, no, I like mean, you I'm, I'm definitely humbled by it because it's like they could be fucking with anybody else. Yeah, yeah. But like I say, when I did the coffee shit, that's what really opened my eyes. Like, oh, people fuck with me. Like, I knew I was getting paid to go to restaurants. Like, the restaurants and shit was paying me, but mm-hmm. it was never like my followers was paying mm-hmm. me. But now I feel like, especially with the events, it's almost like a community of people. Like my yeah. events down there feel like a family reunion oh, man. with some, um, you know, people that you never seen that you was had down on. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of those. Yeah, that's hard. Damn, speaking of the city, we talked about this live podcast and I love to pat myself on the back, but Jim Irsay <laughs> said, fuck Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> that's wild, talking to him like he a, um, yeah, like we'd be good. Like, shut up. Bro. Hey, man. He always say out of pocket stuff, though. Hey, he got. He said, "Yeah, we just had a meeting. Everything was cool." Fifteen minutes later, <laughs> ESPN report: Jonathan Taylor wants out of Indianapolis. Then he was just like, "Hey, when I'm dead and gone, and you retire, they ain't gonna care about us." Damn. That nigga hit him with the fucking belly line, bro. Zaire, what y'all the doing painter. over there? Hey, Z, come on, up, man. We gotta talk about it, man. <laughs> what y'all doing over there? <laughs> I told you to request to trade your damn self. <laughs> See, I, I, Z like get yeah, don't fuck up his money. <laughs> I, told you, I told you. Get out of here. All oh, hell. You Y'all, fuck with the coats? That's your squad? Or you like the bears? Yeah, no, I mess with the coats. See, I'll tell you from I that. Mean, I grew up in the uh Payne Manor era. So it's like uh, shout out to Pete Bears Martin. been weak forever. For you sure. Know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know y'all had Erlacher. When y'all had Erlacher, y'all want uh, I got an Erlacher jersey. So I used, like, I used you can't wear it no that. more. <laughs> yeah. I used to fuck with Brandon yeah, Marshall cool. too. Yeah. But and I, Jay I, mean, Cutler. I mean, Peyton Manning was he really he murdered he one of them a and, little bit. I can't. I, I, I love Peyton Manning. I ain't gonna tag. No, we go. No, ain't no. No, Peyton Manning is top five QB all time. I, I don't go. I ain't even a Colts fan. Okay, go it's, ahead. It's just it's what, what Tom five. Brady did. It's tough. Like Tom Brady really yeah. that, but he yeah. won though. But they was in the, every year. It's good yeah, too. yeah. Tom Brady was. So it's, yeah, it's oh, time, let me let me redo my all time. TB is one for sure. It's Michael Jordan, Tom Brady. Oh, you're all my no, I'm nothing. Yeah, then really Floyd like Mayweather. That. You putting <laughs> you putting Tom Brady over Floyd? Yeah, what do you got? Man, seven, fuck six, that. seven. <laughs> LeBron is definitely up there. Then y'all niggas. Yeah, he crazy. right at the Floyd. He right at the Floyd. Man, they four? fuck no, bro. Uh, y'all disrespectful. Fuck no. Top athletes, bro. I mean, I'm not disrespecting TB resume because he's the coldest, like for yeah. sure. But hey, man, Floyd and, and Tiger got to do it in sports where it's just now. Now yeah. we know how good Tom was. Obviously, we know I'm that he's saying. the reason. But I'm not saying Tiger Woods ain't elite. No, so y'all got to mention Serena Williams. Elite. And Mike Phelps, but. And Usain Bolt. Oh, they not Usain top. Usain Bolt, uh, elite Swimming too. What are you, but are you they all top. Everybody I just named is top 10. I don't Serena like definitely. You're disrespecting Usain Bolt? No, I just fight. Like, he's not in my top five. That's no disrespect. He, he like number seven. Y'all saying this individual He ain't do it shit. long enough, I was going to say he only did it every four yeah, years. Yeah, he ain't do it long enough. I mean, that is hard to say too. Because every four years, you got to be on top of the world for 12 years. That's tough as fuck. That's just like being <laughs> tenured in the league a long time. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but like 50 wins in boxing is crazy. Yeah, it is. And you fought. Everybody say he fought him when he was old. He was old, too. So he fought Pacquiao when he was 38 or whatever he was. Pacquiao. He could have fought Pacquiao younger. He could have. 
They both was the same age. They, 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 they was going. They was going. Yeah, there was a few motherfuckers he could have fought. Early. But we can't get mad at people for making smart business decisions. That's one thing no, I don't no, like. I'm not either. knocking him. I'm not knocking him. But if we're talking about pure athlete, bro, y'all are violating Deion Sanders and LeBron James. You know I'm how I not, feel about Deion. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not violating LeBron. I, right. I, I, I'm a fan of LeBron. I think he's arguably yeah. the best. P but. murder was that deal. Um, the Colts are fucking crazy, and this John Taylor situation is really gonna fuck them either way. I feel like they're going. It is it's bad because your representation is a lot of people, as you know, as a person who came and played in your hometown. But you a lot of people don't want to come here. Hurt though. Um, they yeah, Zach. Their their backup running back just broke his arm. Yeah, so, so it's like now you are in there gotta pay. He no, they don't. He has to play. He's not in a place of leverage at all. That's the one yeah. thing I was gonna say. He fucked up because nobody cares about running backs no more. It, it's it's a, they're trying to eliminate the position as far as from a pay standpoint. No matter where he go. Football. People everybody need, just take a knee, bro. No, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cap. The thing about football, everybody, it's always somebody who's willing to play. So it yeah, that's what I said. Like, <laughs> he's not going to get the money. Told, that's why when Zaire was here, I told him, like, I could never play football because she somebody else will take my spot because I want to get paid more. Like, let, let Jonathan Taylor play. I'm sitting out. They're like, all right, bet. Let's get a free agent running back. He's going to come out here and have a great ass year. Watch. Yeah. Going to run 4,000. And everybody going to be like, Fuck it, we ain't need him anyway. We oh, about me. to waste our money. Yeah, that's how Colts fans are. Yeah, and that's how it goes in the NFL. You don't have to have a running back at this high level because you could just pay for a crazy offensive line, run somebody in the ground for two or three years, get rinse, another. watch, repeat. Just get out of here, bro. Colts. Pacers, but here's the problem: where is he gonna go? Leave. Because who's gonna trade for him? I'm not trading anything leave for somebody. I'm, I'm not, not trading, trading for, you, for a running bro. back ever. Ever. I'm and you gonna get nothing in return. Bro, where is Zeke at? Zeke is. On the, waiting on the call. Right. Oh, Dalvin Cook ain't signed nowhere officially yet. He ain't gonna be on Madden. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's that's who you want on Madden. He used to be my running back two years ago. Wow. Oh, they used to gas. Crazy his, influence. He got niggas wearing them half shirts now. Ah, uh, yeah, the crop tops. Crop he was the original. Was really a thing. Was, which is nasty. <laughs> but he got crazy. paid though, so yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah, he's definitely cool. He the it's reason or the he the really never really been what they supposed to be. Uh, he really the reason hey, Mike, running backs don't get paid. Mike, don't come on this podcast with that shit. Okay. Zeke is the reason running backs don't get paid no more. Ah, what? facts, bro. They gave him all that money, and then he ain't do like I can't put that on Zeke. I, I, I you know what I no feel like green. it is. It's kind of like it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he was crazy. It's kind of like the change in the NBA, the where the NBA went from. <laughs> I don't care if you got a bid. You got to be able to shoot now. So yeah, now, bro. if you're a running back, you have to be able to catch the ball out. Of, if you can't catch the ball out of the flat in the field, nah, you're that. But just think about if Zeke would have been doing Zeke things when he got paid. Yeah. My fuckers would have looked at the running but back Zeke, position Zeke like that. Zeke finessed the NFL, though. Zeke had his stats, though. No, he was killing I mean, he had his stats, but it I'm was like, he influence. got paid as like, like a elite level influence. player as a running back. Well, at the same time, you had to weigh it in because the Cowboys picked him very fucking high. They where did. you don't take running backs. And you don't. So they had to be right. So just like you know in basketball, yeah. GMs are overpay somebody just to show that they was right about some shit, even if it didn't work out. He just happened to be the marriage of both. Yeah. But after but he got he paid... Showed, it showed like, all right, this is why you don't pay running backs because Pollard nigga stepped up and was elite. Yeah, and, then, and I like, think he was on the minimum. Hey, honestly, I'm not gonna say he was on the minimum, but I'm just saying like he wasn't getting with Zeke. I mean, he backs. just got franchise tags, so yeah. that lets you know what time it is. Yeah, I just think it's crazy that Ursay really got out here in these interviews and said all that wild shit, and then they reported that he had asked for a trade three days later, and he got in that motherfucker training camp bus like, nah, everything's smooth. We had a good conversation, and then we get a report hour like he wanted to leave. And that's Ursay. Hey, no, his back hurt. Hey, free to running backs, man. Yeah, man. Free to running backs. Yeah, it oh, is well. what it is. I don't care. You don't care. Y'all nobody else like football. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't even do fancy football. I do. I'm about to start. <laughs> 520. <laughs> hey, 520 fancy. Tap in. It's on the way. It's on the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're gonna see who we gonna see who go pay for it, but it's on the way. It's on the way. Hey, your man Jay LeBron got paid. Biggest contract in NBA history. That's crazy. Shout out to JB, man. He deserved it. He a killer. For sure. Um, what did he average? What twenty five this year? Yep. Yeah, he, he deserves all the money he can get. Great dude, good teammate, um, just a chill dude. So I'm happy for him. Hey, you know it's crazy, but you know I what agree. that mean? If he got three or four, oh, just JT, wait. it's on the way. <laughs> Shout out to JT. Yeah. JT about to get half a bill. <laughs> JT, hey, Both half, of a, him, bill. half a bill, half a bill. Him and Sean about to get they uh up for four hundred. But nice. I, yeah, JT gonna get three thirty eight next year. Oh, well, y'all getting four hundred three. Yeah, I think he a year after. Uh, yeah, he got a year after uh, for his next. Yeah, perfect timing. Where does money coming from? TV, TV. How is it that crazy? The uh, exclusive rights. 
yeah. advertising. The same thing that's about to make this podcast get paid. 338 is crazy. Like, if you look at all the rest- We talked about this a little bit earlier. Look at all the restrictions going on. 260, crazy. 260 is light. Man, we we talked about playoffs. Two six. Two six. You hey, know what? If, he really is. At, like look, my guard, the Lord. Like, my point guard. Putting though. a lot of smut on Jalen Brown name, and I'm like, no disrespect to Halliburton because he still is like that. He yeah, all star. Yeah, he yeah. do everything, but it's like two sixty, and you ain't really did nothing from a team standpoint. He yeah. when he got forty mo, y'all went to the finals. Then y'all went to the Eastern Conference Finals, like. Stop disrespecting Jalen Brown. And hey, they've been nah, on. They've know. been talking about Jalen Brown left hand on Twitter ever since he's on the contract. Keep going right, JB. Oh God, <laughs> he going the right it's, way. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Oh, Shit, I wish I would have went right more. Fuck. <laughs> Three oh four. I would have been a fool. Nah, I seen you in a program. What you trying? <laughs> you would have been a goddamn fool. Ooh, I don't know. There wouldn't have been a club five twenty. <laughs> it would have been no fun. We've been in Miami. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't know what the address would have been. <laughs> Refreshment podcast. Yeah, what? Why no, they down there kicking it with them? Right? Why they go to buy the house next to Diddy? <laughs> no, the fuck, I, man. What you on? Bro? No, I was just saying, bro. That's why the big ass cribs are. You chill, on, bro. bro. What you, you on? Bro? I'm just talking. That's why the big cribs. You out of pocket? Yeah, what you on, bro? <laughs> you out of pocket? You don't want to live next to Diddy? <laughs> uh, I would have stayed next to it. Rose out of pocket. Real Ciroc boys. I would have stayed in Atlanta, bro. I would have had a house next to Ross, man. I would have got. He I down the street. Bro. I would have stayed by Ross. Khaled, somebody, everybody live in the same neighborhood. Hey, bro. DJ Chill. Khaled and the dress keys is the footiest show. <laughs> why they got, be ready to you could have said Khaled, bro. Like, why you had I to say Diddy, Khaled, though? Bro, but you don't you be hating on Khaled. I never hated on Khaled. Right. I love DJ Khaled. Actually. I need you to get on me for big enough Khaled. How big? Yeah, stop. Was. He's the best DJ in the world, bro. He's not a DJ. Okay. He is. He he's is a, a real scratcher, bro. Yes, no, he, he is, is a, a collector of not, talent. We're, hey, we're no, not, by the way, y'all talking talk about DJ no, Kelly. Hey, nigga, ladies. we talk about your, your fucking segments that you want to talk to. <laughs> Bruce R, <Art>, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bruce R, hit you in a DM. I mean, shout out to Bruce R for getting the wrong podcast. But, uh... <laughs> He definitely try to shout like he definitely try to talk about the topic with the wrong podcast. Right. That's he out of pocket up. for that. Yeah, talking it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> Two old niggas talking. Uh, <laughs> him and Rob Parker. The real CBO here. Yeah. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real CB? <laughs> Chris Brown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real BG? <laughs> oh, we gotta talk about it. What? 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 Oh, Jeff, you didn't see it? No. Nah. Brittany Garner is on Twitter hooping with her shirt off. That was crazy. Crazy. How? <laughs> Bro, when I say when I say you don't know, bro. Oh, uh, how's she hooping with her shirt off? Bro, she's at a pool, bro, all my life. Play the, the clip. With the girls, bro. Letting it fly, bro. Swear. Hey. Shirt. hey and it didn't get flat? No. She don't got no chest. Hey, for between real. that, boys. between that and the party for Carly Russell uh boyfriend, that's the craziest things I've seen on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, DJ saw so on my mama. He bro, had the hardest rebred bro. of all time. I swear to God, he said I'm throwing a party. He's out of pocket, though. Russell, what man. was the party called? <laughs> uh, what was it called? Sunset Sunday, Sunday. I'm just whooping <laughs> <laughs> off. The real Sunset. <laughs> hey, she you know too. how hard it is if you break up with your girl throw a party? Hey, it's up now. <laughs> she too crazy for me. Bro, that's yeah, wild. she's out of pocket, bro. She hates Hey, everybody. that's what girls do when they when they fresh out of breakup. They post that selfie. <laughs> he oh, posted the But that caption, you about, oh, yeah, he left you. Oh, She's I, back. Yeah, when the girls get, when they get it single and they start deleting all them pictures, you know what's up. Either they go get that fade or they go come back with the, I oh, know my worth. It. Oh, damn. Oh, big not child. the fade. He is sick of you. <laughs> not the fade. Big child for sure. The That's webby. all that really be happening. Girls are disappearing on Instagram and it's like, they either going to be pregnant or married. Like, damn. The little two, three month disappear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. rebrand. Disappear is crazy. For sure. Delete all the pictures. Archive the pictures. And then pop back up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that archive is tough. Yeah. They archive just gets oh, that archive. so bad. Because that one got too many likes. Yeah. I can't let it go. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> when I went to sleep, you had 25 posts. I woke up, it was one. A new oh, selfie. We, Niggas be turning on. them DMs up. <laughs> hey, that's the real real uh, step. <laughs> that's the best refrain of all time. Crazy. Ah, oh, they need a new strategy. <laughs> it ain't working no more. They ain't working no more, Figuring bro. It out. Hey, man. Shout out to him, man, for throwing a party for himself. I'm back in the streets. He deserved it, bro. She put that man through hell for them couple She days. really did, though. But the whole thing was because <laughs> that was her getting he back in here for cheating. I don't cheating. think he cared the whole time. You don't think so? Nah. He probably was more annoyed with the family calling him. I like, think the post. Well, I read the post and he was like, man, thank you for all the support. Oh. Know, like, he got PR team. Yeah. He had a baby face tweet. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Not the baby like, face. He sounded like Travis Scott after the concert. When he's trying to win his back Speaking over. Speaking of Travis Scott, what you thought about his album? That motherfucker was hard. Nah, it's fire. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, Travis Scott don't miss on that shit. Nah, he good. They should yeah, let him slaps on there. Yeah, they should let him perform in Egypt, do, though. Bro. I'm cheating. He, he good at what he do, bro. That would have been crazy. If he'd have played that album in Egypt, nigga, it'd have been slapping, bro. On the pyramid? Would've. Nigga, what? Yeah, y'all out of pocket. Best shit since the Prince of Egypt. Nah, bro, but the the the, the meaning behind the whole Astro world is fried, bro. It's fried. So it's demonic. So they ain't going to Yeah, that's that. why they didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, you can't do that. But, but like, we wait. Only wanted, how long? America is the only people that accept What, the Astro world right? came out like five years ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to wait five years and come deliver that, that's hard. That album was good, bro. Yeah, I actually yeah. listened to it and I was like, damn, this ain't bad. I like Rallo Rodriguez's album, too. Yeah. I don't know what fuck he be saying. I but guess, uh, nah, he's cold. It be it be it he be sounding know, good in the car, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but y'all know what he be saying. I yeah, still I don't do. understand you shit he be really saying. Tap in, I got to get the words on saying. Apple Music. Ain't no captions for his shit on Apple. You uh, just it's, nigga unavailable. He's probably the hardest young nigga out because he really like can rap for real. How you can't? I don't I know what he be saying. You just gotta listen. Be patient. You're not patient. You well, he listen to Rod Wave, so you can't trust him. He's hard, bro. I like Rod Wave. I like Rod Wave. Yeah, DJ. <laughs> Who you fuck with? Wake up and smile, nigga. Uh, Foster. I'm, I've been on Detroit heavy. I can't lie. V's, Babyface, Ray. Mike G got um, some buffs. Don't don't trip. Uh, Baby Smooth. What else I've been listening to? Baby Sometimes Smooth. Sometimes they music um, be too fast for I've me. I've been on the Travis. Um, the Travis been going crazy. Yeah, I be on Detroit shit. They they just be talking about getting money. That shit just be sounding good. I be, I, I be like, that's, I sign a contract. I be like, man, that, that's Detroit P- shit. I'm yeah. up. Where Peasy yeah. from? Peasy from yeah. Detroit. Yeah, that's uh, all yeah, the same thing. Yeah, like, yeah. All of hold, hold on, Peasy nigga is like, if you locked in, that nigga. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. That whole album crazy, but to uh, up just what went viral. I can't really. The album really. I can't. I ain't really tapped in Detroit. Fast. Yeah, I can't really catch. We got update. Jeff It's like off beat and but. I don't, I don't know. know. My iTunes. You know, that nigga play now. the same 25 songs. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I play with the people you love. You don't listen. Hey, we're making the 520 uh, iTunes. I, I love the, I play with the people that love. That would be bro. smart. We're making a playlist. Every artist, y'all make a playlist all together. No, we all got five songs. Everybody got five songs. We're going to make a playlist. From all know. y'all favorite artists, that'll be dope as hell. Not, yeah, not to me. Mine. I don't want to do no tape with these niggas. I'm solo. <laughs> I'm drama. <laughs> Jesus. And nobody. Yeah, yeah, I told you I went to his cookout. What he play? Oh damn. Nah, what he play? Nigga, Shout Kurt Franklin. Nigga. nigga. Shout out to David Ruffin. Yeah. Nigga, I'm in here sinning. He no, in here bro. playing Kurt Franklin. I'm the real DJ, Kurt. bro. I play. I'm this drinking all. I don't know. You tapped in with India. That's Jerry Wade. And that's my fucking <laughs> Gino. Okay. Yeah, I ain't no fucking old ass nigga playing Gino. all that old ass music. <laughs> I said this my nigga shit. run the same rotation. My, my set be looking like Pimp C at my wedding, nigga. My nah, shit be turned, nigga. But you ran the OGs. I fuck with it. You was in your element. You just don't know new music like that. You tap because that shit don't be sounding good to me, bro. Mm. Good, bro. You I agree. Just I like. I say over the last week or so after the Travis shit listed that for, I've been on Jay Z heavy. Come on, man. Out. We'll and talk. Like, we'll talk to, to me, switch man. from Jay Z to well, that. It'd be like, let me switch that nigga chair, man. We got something going on, man. <laughs> nah, yeah. Reason, reasonable <laughs> hey, doubt yo. is really like hey, he wasn't listening to Nas though. He definitely listened to Nas after Jay Z came on. It was nah, just, he didn't. It just tapped in a little bit. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga, Mike went off. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "The Tesla turned off when Nas come on. Yeah, hey, the battery died. The Tesla nigga. quit driving. Yeah. 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 Hey, y'all niggas ain't gonna just hold on. First of all, you really tell the people the truth. What you don't really like Nas? I do like Nas. You like Nas over Jay Z? No, no, no. Jay Z the greatest rapper ever, but Nas. And that's why I said we, I, I don't talk it. to music unless we talk about older <laughs> shit. I don't really talk to music. Nas, anymore. Nas ain't too far off though. He like definitely like if he ain't top five, he like seven. Top five was How's what? his last album? It was it was. I ain't listening. It was it was all right. It wasn't his best work. It wasn't his best work. It wasn't bad though. Nas. <laughs> I went to um. Actually, it wasn't bad. It wasn't trash. It just wasn't Nas concert for. I want to say it was, it was my, fire, my 21st or 22nd like it was birthday it was fire. when he was doing like the Illmatic shit yeah. and he had the whole documentary. His brother was out there, turned up. Fire. That wasn't your favorite birthday though. He talking about the It wasn't. That wasn't your favorite birthday. And you it didn't wasn't. leave getting after that. You had a better, you had a birthday in the 219. <laughs> I did. Oh, when I did the Vogue last year, that was stupid. Shout out to the Vogue. Oh, Yo, the juke parties in the two one nine was better than that. Juke, juke party, juke party, this nigga going up. Yeah. Damn, that's nasty. Man, don't disrespect Nas, bro. Yeah. This juke party was not better than Nas concert. <laughs> <kind of thing. laughs> hey, before we get out of here, um, I don't know if y'all watched this, but they cloned Tyrone for our movie. Oh, but... now that movie is amazing. I watched. It I spoke already. it up though. For our movie, he got another movie coming out too. He doing voiceover with the dogs. See, he's clowning. I don't want to see that. Movie. He's clowning. Now he's here. how are you running them? That's like putting the album out back to back. 
How you this healthy now? He forced it. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. He did them movies years ago. That nigga had a cold. Talking. Hey, that's the voiceover work. Hey, he ain't did them movies years ago. Them movies came out. Some, they filmed them a year ago, I at least a year it, or two ago. That's a good point. I just love the conversation. Yeah, bro. All right, let's let me check into the hospital real quick and then drop. <laughs> they clone where they clone most niggas at supposedly. And don't hospital. disrespect on, Jamie Foxx's illness. Don't eat the fried chicken. <laughs> That's that was crazy. No, the movie. The really movie's is fired. Crazy. It really, yeah, really but it really no, fuck like, your mind up because you start thinking like yeah. everything they saying in this movie. Like, damn, I do eat fried chicken like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I do listen to these weak ass songs. That's why they be poisoning your mind with them weak ass future damn. lyrics. No, I actually like. But future. they put it in the communion. Stop. They had it in the grape juice at the church. <laughs> that was funny. Was that's, funny. Hey. Hey, that's why I tell my baba I ain't go to fresh shit. Oh wow! <laughs> Stop, bro. Nah, Stop. shout out to fresh. I love Stop, that. Bro. Hey, this is new communion right here. The Mike G. For sure. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. put it, they put it on Sunset Sundays. That's why they keep coming back. We can definitely make it 0.0%. You and know I'm saying? Any get churches, drunk in the church. Any, oh, we they get drunk. Out, they passed out Wild Irish Rose in his church. Shout out to Fresh He's lying, upgrade. bro. Don't do that, nigga. Hey, <laughs> pass the cover to I ain't say that, man. They doing that shit. Pass the cover to No, they don't. Hey, all I'm going to say is. Cups, they passed the bottle Hey, we're going to do it. We're going to consistency in the city. Uh, Mike G, Sunset Sunday's got a lot of people. No call, no show Mondays. Oh, uh, for sure. <laughs> Niggas yeah, took that off sure. the calendar. That red wire got a lot of people in trouble. This one before the last one, bro, I swear to God. I, did, I was so scared for some people, nigga. I'm like, man, ain't no way y'all getting home. And I'm yeah, like, how are y'all just drunk? talking to me like, you yeah. know, we, we ain't do too much, but. There's a few people, bro. I'm like, y'all should have arrested their ass. <laughs> nah, <man. laughs> they they the I got an elegant ass wine. They want to hit coming here acting stupid. Right, bro. I'm one of the reasons why they had to have the PSA about the smoking on Yo the balcony. I like, apologize, you my nigga, the but last one, nigga, my it was up. Them, like my folks hit the bottle and live, nigga. I ain't bullshitting. Crazy. I, all them was on. Nigga, you walk. We was upstairs. They treating them like Bud Light. They had like some shit like he got right there, bro. All these bottles, bro. Swear to God, lined up all around. The we crazy outside. thing though is like with it being fourteen percent, like people don't normally drink wine, so yeah. like they drinking and they like, oh, this shit cool, it's some juice, nah. and that shit kick in, and, and that's like, a high content different. for wine, bro. Nah, right. yeah, most wine be like six, seven yeah. percent. Trust I, me, I doubled it. You got some shit. When motherfucker drink wine, they come upstairs real friendly. <laughs> For real, I'd be like, "Damn, oh, you, P, you drunk some wine? Right? <laughs> I ain't never had my scalp treated." <laughs> wow, wow, Whoa. what, nigga? I'm talking about my wife. <laughs> I'm not mad about? at you. I'm just like, that's kind of <laughs> y'all talking about me. That was kind of nah. Did you? Did you be saying the white nah. treat your scalp? Nah. I'm like, <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Y'all go. Wow. Y'all always want to clown at the end of the show, and then niggas want to say, "Cut the mic off." <laughs> That was OC. You out of pocket. I would never disrespect you. No, that. delete that. Man. I'm, just I'm talking about my wife. This nigga talking about, whoa. Nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, I ain't never got my scalp treated like that. Just sounds insane, bro. I'm saying she be putting the grease in my shit sometimes. Man. Shout out to the hot oil treatment. <laughs> and on that note. Man, this motherfucker doing rituals. <laughs> See, she, he always trying to go Travis got Egypt. Why he always trying to go on my lineage. <laughs> Disrespect <laughs> the new lineage too. You got a fresh new lineage. You already yeah, always try to disrespect it. Dude. <laughs> Damn. <That's new> lineage. <laughs> Y'all niggas are retarded, bro. Speaking of blizz, shout out to Sharice. My dog, my G, got the wines. We're going to drop a link for y'all to cop the shit. Appreciate you sliding on us, my boy. For sure. Like, Appreciate share, y'all. subscribe, all that great shit. Y'all will see us next week. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we don't get canceled before then. Mm-hmm. If not, yeah, y'all we, see us. We'll delete some of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you have that was what.